hello and welcome to my youtube channel today video tutorial about how to create subfolders in outlook 2016 first we should understand why you need a subfolders we need a subfolders because we will have a lot of emails in our inbox from different people from different subjects so to organize those emails we need a subfolders so without any further delay let's begin here you can see I have already lots of subfolders inside my inbox. It helped me a lot to filter the emails. Now I will show you how to create those subfolders. Here for example, I will take ICICI, first I will create a subfolder inside my inbox, to do so right click on inbox and click on new folder and I keep folder name ICICI Lombard and click on email that I want to move to this folder right click and then click on rules we have a different options but first I will show you the first option always move masses from ICICI Lombard once I click on it A new dialog box prompt here I have to select the folder here I select the folder that I had just created ICICI Lombard and then click on OK as soon as I click on OK all the mails from the ICICI Lombards are moving to that folder takes us some time based on the emails amount that I have here you can see already all the emails are moved to that folder this rules remain the same until unless I don't alter or I don't remove these rules so in the future if I receive any mails from the ICICI Lombard it automatically moved to that folder now we will move to the second way to do this this time i will take paytm first i create a subfolder in the appropriate name paytm and then i do the same thing again right click over a mail and then rule the same thing we can do from the menu bar you can see here option rules simply expand it it has the same option again and click on always move masses from and then select the folder and you can see already mails are start moving and you can see here all the mails from the paytms are moved to that folder and even in the future if i get any mails from this particular name or the mail id the mails will get automatically moved to this folder now the third way of doing this is same create a folder and right click over a mail and click on rules and you can see here third option create rules just click on it here you can see we have a many option here all the options are not mandatory but the most important thing is we have to check this first option from Naukri alert by doing this all the mails from the Naukri alert will automatically move just check this box and the last option move the item to folder this option will determine where the mail will get moved to so i select the folder just check this box and click on select folder and the folder name here i have a name Naukri and click on ok and you can see your new dialog box prompt 
it asks you either you want to run these rules now or later just check this box and click on ok and you can see all the mails are start moving finish you can see oh, all the mails from the nokery alert are moved to this folder and another way of doing for this i am taking amazon for the example as same earlier create a folder right click over a mail click on rules and click on create rule and check the first options and the last option and select the folder you can see here at the last we have option called advanced option just click on it and you can see your new dialog box prone here we have many options to set the conditions to move these mails to this particular folder for example by mail id by name of the subject and that move to that folder what kind of priority we want to set all those things here if you have any specific requirement you can configure that option you can see here this dialog box is in two parts first to select the conditions and second part to edit that rules as soon as you check any options in the first box you can see at the down in the second box automatically that option appears to configure for example we'll take this option flagged for action once i click this you can see at the down at the bottom in the second box the option automatically appears just click on the action and expand this and i have various options to set the conditions like call do not forward follow up and so on in the same way we can configure even other options uh, as of now i don't require all those things i just leave as it is and click on next and here we have options what do you want to do with the message here are the, again the options are uh, not the same but similar options once the mail moves to the folder what kind of priority or what you want to do with these mails for example we can see here uh, there is a option called move a copy to the specific folder it means the same copy of mail do you want to send to the another folder if you have any specific conditions you can set these rules or else just click on next and here we have option exceptions it means for example we can see the first options which is accept if from people or public group it means from the specific people or some groups the mails comes it will not move to the folder automatically in the same way all the conditions works if you have any if you have any exceptions you can configure these options or else you just leave the defaults and click on next and check this box to run this rules from now and then click on finish and you can see mails are already start moving now we'll check this folder you can see your already all mails moved to this folder now i will show you either the new mails are moving to the folders automatically or not to check this first i will send the mail here I have a mail that I had just sent and as earlier I will create a folder I will name it Mahesh oh, something goes wrong I will just rename it and as earlier I expand the rule and you can see always move masses from click on it 
and select the folder and click on ok and the rule is already created now you can see the mails are moved to this folder already and to check I will send the new mail now those are the old mails that are moved to this folder click on new mails and uh, I will select the mail ID and then type subject and the body and send it just click on send receive taking some time and you can see here I received the mail I received this mail in the specific folder that I had uh, created the rules so this message will not go to the inbox that's all for today I hope you like this video and next video will about how to create a personal folder or PSD and the archive please don't forget to give your valuable feedback and suggestions thank you for watching